Do you accept that Russia can interfere uh, in the presidential and parliamentary elections in Moldova uh, in order to compromise the accession to the EU? How can you deal with this? Well, unfortunately, uh, I'm pretty sure that there will be interference from uh, Russia because that's what we see on the other constant basis, uh, be it the local government elections last year when there was lots of, and we're talking about millions of euros and dollars that were uh, brought into the country by various means to influence the political process here. Or we take uh, Maria Zaharo, for whom Moldova has become a daily topic. What I uh, can say is that this is, on the one hand, it's the reality that the country will have to live with uh, until it becomes a EU member state. Because this has been the situation with all other uh, candidate countries that uh, Russia has tried to slow um, down uh, that process. But in the meantime, what is important is to take steps against the Russian disinformation, against the Russian propaganda, uh, against the uh, illicit funding that comes uh, from outside. Because um, what we need to help uh, is a political process that is genuine, that it is uh, driven by, and be it pro-EU or pro-Russian forces, that there can of course be uh, legitimate uh, public uh, sentiments of different directions, but it is important that this comes from inside, but, and it's not uh, processes that are bought. And, I, uh, so, and for that to happen, I think there are several things. One is uh, work of the law enforcement agencies that need to fight uh, the illicit funds. And second is the work on fighting disinformation. So we have now uh, supported the establishment of a Stratcom Center in Republic of Moldova, which is uh, hopefully going to not only analyze the narratives, but also to provide the advice on how to counter those. And of course, from our side, we're also doing that work uh, both here nationally and also through the headquarters.